Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bree. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this glueless wig, glueless lace front wig attached to my head. Like, if you don't, if you have never watched any of my other videos, you may have noticed that I have a weird shaped hairline. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video how I put this glueless wig on the best way I know how. Well, it's not necessarily a glueless wig, but honey, I made it glueless because I'm not trying to get these baby hairs and edges snatched up out of my head, okay? I got a lot of baby hair. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and watch some of my hair videos. I'll link one up above in the cards. So if you guys want to see how I did this, it was a little, little bit of a struggle, guys, because it was only my second time doing it, and honey knows I'm not a wig guru, okay? Like, I don't do wigs, I don't do weaves, I don't know how to do anybody's hair but mine. But, you know, we kind of hooked it up, and I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. You guys, leave a comment down below and put a thumbs up emoji if you think I did an okay job. Don't clown me. This is only my second time doing it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did in this video. And if you guys are ready to see that, I want you to stick around and keep on watching. Okay, guys. So I started off by putting my scarf on top of my mini twist. I just put my mini twist back in a ponytail. And I put that scarf on there just to make sure that my hair got as flat as possible. So then you go ahead and see me put my wig cap on. Obviously, it's not the right color, but we're going to correct that later because I'm going to do the ball cap method. And now you see me spraying some of my got to be free spray on my edges to stick that cap down flat. We're going to do the ball cap method. If you guys never heard of the ball cap method, just search on YouTube. You'll see so many videos of it. And I'm going to go ahead and dry that until it's no longer tacky, until it's completely dry. And then here is where I realized I kind of messed up. I was supposed to cut the holes in my ear prior to putting the free spray on, but that's okay. We're learning, we're learning. I'm doing it now. And then I'm gonna sp spray a little more free spray just to make sure I get the ear tabs laid down properly as well. Okay, so once your ear tabs are completely dry, you wanna go ahead and begin to cut off your wig cap, um, making sure you get that thick band cut off as most as you can. Um, if you guys have not noticed, my hairline is shaped funny. I said that early in the video, but my hairline really is shaped funny. On the sides, my hair comes so far down, like the little baby hairs, comes so far down close to my eyebrows, but in the center of my head, I mean, my four, you, can, you see what I'm talking about. You guys are gonna see, because I'm gonna be cutting more of the wig cap off in the center of my head to kind of get the, um, the correct line of my actual hairline. So I don't want my wig to be sitting on my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna make it look as much like my hairline as my natural hairline as possible. So the next step is to blend that cap with your skin color. So I went ahead and used some of my Maybelline Poreless Foundation um, in my exact foundation shade. I didn't use a shade lighter, I just went ahead and used my foundation shade. And I believe I am coconut. And I just go ahead and put that all around the hairline and it's gonna be a middle part. So I focused it a lot on the middle part. So here I'm just introducing you guys to my girl Ashley. Yes, I named my wig, her name is Ashley. So I'm putting Ashley on and right here you're gonna see me start noticing that I have too much of the wig cap still showing on the sides. So off camera, I went and pulled back a little bit more, cut off a little bit more of the wig cap on the side because on camera you can't see it that well, but in person it shows up a lot more. So I went ahead and cut more of that off cause it just was not doing it for me. So in this clip, you see I've cut off more of the wig cap so you can no longer see it um, coming in from the, under the wig. And I tied my hair up so I can go ahead and mold down my baby hairs. I'm not going for an extreme baby hair look, just something simple to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm trying to kind of do the baby hairs the way I would normally do my natural baby hairs. But of course, this is not your natural hair. This is a wig, so it's not going to look exactly the same. But um, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm using my Norabi, I think that's how you say it, um, foam setting lotion to lay the 
baby hairs down and that's actually all I'm going to be using to tack the wig down. I'm not using any glue, any gel, nothing like that. Just strictly just this foam. So I'm going to tie this all down with a scarf and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put my smaller scarf on. You'll see that in the next clip because I'm going to go ahead and style the hair. So yeah, off camera I went ahead and put a smaller um, scarf just around the edges so that can keep on setting. And I took off the bigger scarf so I can go ahead and hot comb the roots of the frontal just to make it lay down as flat as possible. I already put foam on it so it was already kind of flat, but you know, we wanna make it even flatter, make it look as natural as possible. So I'm just going over that with the hot comb just to try to give it a more natural look. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and see girls do it all the time. So I just kind of copied everybody else's technique. And that right there, what I just showed you guys is like Maury's beeswax. I kind of stole it from my boyfriend. He puts it on his hair for his waves, but girl, that worked perfectly to lay down and fly away. So, you know. Now I'm just going ahead and taking off the scarf, revealing the little melt, seeing what we got. And there it is. I thought it looked okay, but I knew I still had a little bit more work to do. So you're gonna see me do a little bit more tweaking um, with the flat iron, I mean with the hot comb, and I'm gonna fix the baby hairs a little bit, fix my foundation, because I did do my makeup while I still had that scarf around my edges. So I kind of have to touch all that up so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few finishing details So at this point, y'all, I really didn't care. I thought I was cute. So I just went in ahead and customized the wig a little bit more. Well, not really customized it, but I just sprayed some water on it and put some more of that um, foam setting lotion on there, just kind of like set those uh, curls in place. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, it was a little bit of a struggle for me because this is only my second time applying a wig to my head and this one is glueless. I didn't put any got to be gel, none of that. I only used free spray and I didn't even use free spray to tack the wig down. I only used it for the ball cap, to do the ball cap method. Um, with this wig, I got it from a company called U Nice Hair. You nice and it was this is the um pretty much the original texture i've curled it before but i've washed it and i kind of let it air dry like this and i put some foam um setting lotion on it to kind of like get the curls to stay in the body web but i really like this hair it does shed a lot and maybe because i did go ahead and bleach the knots of the lace frontal so yeah other than that the wig is beautiful the hair feels nice and i think it looks pretty cute and like i said earlier leave a comment below give me a thumbs up if you think I did an okay job installing this wig for only my second time. And you guys, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I am on my, on my way to 1,000 subscribers and I really appreciate it if you help me get there. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and once again, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.